Hello boys and welcome in part 15 of the American Empire series. Today we are going to invade another country. Today another victim to the US Navy. Today another victim to the American Empire. Just continue to watch today's episode to find out who is going to be our next victim. Meanwhile, we are preparing our armies on the shores, we are preparing our navies, we are organizing our uh, navies lines and everything here. Our first battle group is ready. The Sin of Wrath is 100% ready now and I am filling the second aircraft carrier with attack helicopters. Now we have the level 3, soon we will start the level 4 attack helicopters which they will be having a tremendous firepower against hard target. As soon as our first uh, Sin of Wrath aircraft carrier battle group is ready, I am going to send it to the Mediterranean Sea. The third one here, the Sin of Pride, is going to stay in our Pacific coast because we do not have a lot of defenses on our Pacific coast and a few of our followers, they advise to keep some defenses on our uh, east coast, west coast, sorry, because uh, the Asians, they are growing bigger and they can think about launching an attack. So, yeah, I will need more land uh, defenses and also naval defenses there. The coastal cities of Angola have been uh, destroyed, but he have Cape Town and the next city and he is building a level 2 airbase. I just saw this, I didn't see it in the beginning. Okay, I'm going to send my uh, cruiser there. I will bombard that uh, city to uh, prevent him from making any air units or something because uh, I need to cripple him and uh, make a good naval blockade all over Africa here. Let's have a wider look to the American Empire. Now that uh, South America have been uh, cleaned, now that our empire is getting bigger, this is all of our land. It's amazing. It's fabulous. The US Empire. This is the result of our work. This is the result of the cooperation of 9,000 members of the Miliadas gaming community. Yes, together we are unbeatable. Together we are unbeatable. Okay, let's continue our uh, Moroccan invasion. You can see that we are taking so much lands in short time. This is the privilege of the National Guards. When you have a lot of National Guards, you can send them to different directions and they can claim a lot of lands for you. Uh, in this uh, way, in this aggressive way I call it, it's going to enable you to finish your wars very quickly. And you know that it is very important in conflict of nations to finish your wars very quickly because that is going to boost up your morale. I'm upgrading my naval officer, Admiral Meliodas. And uh, the second uh, research is going for the level 4 mobile radar. Uh, radars, they are going to play a very important role in the land invasion here because we are playing with multiple rocket launchers and whenever you play with artillery, having mobile radar or AWACS is very important and a must. It's a must because you can see nothing with your multi rocket launchers without a radar. The city of Burem here in the center of uh, Africa is still standing there. I will send a stack of uh, multi rocket launchers. Why? Because I sent National Guards there, but they have been beaten. They are dead. There are land defenses there. This is why I'm sending my multi rocket launchers there. To attack him from distance, of course. Let's send our stack of five frigates to the north of Algeria. I don't need it anymore here near the city of Agadir because uh, our airbase there is not uh, as important as before because now we can build airfield at any province here in the center of uh, the African Sahara. I will patrol the city of Brem with my stealth air superiority fighters. I'm preparing my land armies here in, on the shores near the coast of Angola and soon I will start the invasion of Angola, yeah. Securing the landing with my stack of cruisers, which is very important and we spoke about that in the previous series where when you are making a landing, you need to secure it with your uh, navies. And uh, we saw in episode 11 or 12 that Angola has declared war on us with his strike fighters so we do not want him to attack our units while they are landing there. I'm getting closer and closer to the Libyan lands. As soon as I finish 
the Moroccan land, we are going to be at the borders of Libya. Libya is his ally. And uh, one of the good players of the game, he is climbing the uh, table very fast. He has been at war with the United Kingdom and he got his capital newt, which is uh, unfortunate for him. This is why we took the chance and we started Operation Atlas on uh, North Africa because we saw the big battle between Africa and Europe. And it was the golden chance for the US Empire to start this invasion. Now it's the time to send our 20th carrier strike group, the Sin of Wrath, to the Mediterranean Sea. Now, in the next episode, because uh, now it's going to take a while for our um, carrier to uh, reach the Mediterranean Sea, but in the next episode we are going to see our carriers in action, operating with attack helicopters and covered with uh, stealth security fighters. I know guys, you have been waiting for this moment for too long. You wanted to see the aircraft carriers in action. You wanted to see the stealth security fighters in action. Don't worry. Don't worry, a lot of fun is waiting for you. This game is so far from being over. It hasn't finished yet. We still have a lot of enemies. And don't worry guys, we are not going we are not going to only focus on gathering lands. No, no, no. In this game, I'm going to beat everyone. Even if this means that I will stop expanding, yet I want to beat everyone. And if you are asking if I am one day going to attack the Asians, that is imminent yes i am going to attack the asians sooner or later today or tomorrow because i do not want to finish this map like this just gathering lands i want to finish it in style declaring war on everyone this is why i wanted to tell you guys there is a lot of excitement action and fun in the upcoming episodes just stay tuned the landing has been successful in the angolian homeland cities this is what we were speaking about when you cover your land armies with your cruisers or frigates. A stack of four cruisers and one frigate or three cruisers or two frigates is amazing. But a stack of a naval officer, two frigates, two cruisers or one uh, naval officer and three cruisers and one frigate. This is amazing. This is a very, very good stack. Actually, it is good against missiles. It is good. Even you have vision against submarines, by the way, because your naval officer can see submarines. I changed my status with Angola to... I changed it to peace and later on to uh, war to uh, see this red map. Because when I have uh, war with someone, I won't see the map in red. It makes things easier for me and for the viewers and for everyone. I don't want it to stay normal. And yep, I'm going to start the invasion and the expansion through the Mauritanian lands that belongs to Angola. So yeah, this region needs to be, uh, needs to be controlled ASAP. Later on, of course, you can see in front of you, we are at the borders of Libya. So maybe in the next episode we can launch the invasion of Libya, but I really want to hear the opinion of our followers. Do we engage Libya and attack him and destroy him or go to the Asians? What do you think guys? Isn't it too early to attack the Asians now while we are mainly in Africa, our armies are in Africa because an attack on Asia now is going to make us lose a lot of time because we are going to remobilize our aircraft carriers, our navies, our everything. So I will read the commands, your advices, your opinions and what is going to be our next move boys? What do you suggest? Europe, Libya or Asia? I will give you the call of our next move. Meanwhile, uh, the expansion is uh, underway. We are destroying everyone from all the sides and all the front. Our carrier group is very close to uh, the coasts of Libya. It is now crossing the Mediterranean Sea. And we are at the end of today's episode, guys. So we are going to meet in episode uh, 16 as the fun is going to continue. And thank you for your support. And of course, I'm expecting your advices and opinions. See you guys and bye-bye.